What up guys? So we were trying to start a let's play, but we couldn't get it to work. So instead, I'm gonna just read a Dream X George Not Found fan fiction I found on Wattpad. Michael's also here with me. What up everybody? I'm ready to hear this story just like the rest of you guys. Alright, so this is chapter one of forty. It's called Beg Begonias, I'm assuming, and it's by Flowering Pasture. <laughs> Chapter 1. The Unavoidable How do you know if you caught feelings for your best friend? This is the question Dream types into his incognito search bar. Rain pitter-patters on the window of his Orlando flat. A background up to his undecipherable feelings. He stifles a yawn, both scrolling through the search results methodically, and finally seeing a quiz that piqued his interest. Am I in love with my best friend? He clicked on it hesitantly. Reading the first question, almost immediately hoped that this was a decent quiz. Do you ever catch yourself staring at your BFF? Dream rolled his eyes before deciding he should at least try to take it seriously. Begrudgingly, he chose the all the time option. Are they the first person you call when something happens? Dream thought about it for a moment, remembering back to the time Patches ate chocolate or when he himself got a headache so bad he couldn't move. The first person he called was George, no doubt. But what was that but was that because he trusted him, or because he was the best person to ask? The dirty blonde haired boy groaned, running a hand down his face as he chose the always on. He continued answering the question that seemed kind of irrelevant. You get jealous when someone else is with them? Do you ever think about your feet? together things like that and in the end you are totally in love with your best friend dream felt embarrassment burn through his veins groaning as he covered his face and shook his head he was about to take off his headset and get something to eat when a discord notification popped up on his mind. georgie hey want to call for a bit i'm bored georgie changed dream's nickname to clay Dream chuckled a bit at this, almost immediately changing it back. Dream, what did I tell you about calling me Clay? Georgie, well, I successfully summoned you, so it's worth it. Dream chuckled lightly, grabbing his phone to open Discord there and voice call George. Clay, George said, only to be cut off by Dream going, la 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 la, I can't hear you, which made the shorter boy laugh out loud. And Dream's heart skipped. So how's your day been, Dream asked, taking his phone with him to the kitchen to grab a banana. And for a moment, he felt proud of himself for proving his parents wrong about his grocery. I've been pretty decent, actually. I mean, my job sucks, but I was able to snag some extra hours so I can save up for when my airport opens in a couple of weeks. Oh, right. Dream threw his peel of his banana as he recalled their plans for the summer. Last summer, when everything was still fine and dandy, the Dream Team made some big decisions. A. They were going to add Bad Boy Halo into the team. B. They were all going to move to one house and split the rent evenly. This way, when Dream finally wanted to do a face reveal, they could all record themselves doing things other than playing Mario. Plus, it would just make things more fun for the four of them to live together. Well, you don't have to push yourself, you know. I can send you some money if you're if you're sure anything when the time comes. Dream offered nonchalantly. Everyone knew that out of the four of them, Dream's channel racked up the most income. He wasn't afraid to give money to his friends. You know, I can't say yes to that. Dream could practically hear the adorable pout on the other boy's face, making him smile. <laughs> the other boy! <laughs> Just know that it wouldn't be a problem. Dream opened his fridge, rummaging through his things, before he found some leftover pizza from the day before. Out of which state to stay in, the Dream Team originally wanted to be in Orlando, Florida. That is, before they realized the prices. Sapnap was happy to announce that there was a four-room, four-bath house cheap in Harris County, Texas. And so, that's why most of Dream's things are packed in boxes, for whenever the moving trucks get here. He, Sapnap, and Bad were going to clean up the place about two weeks before George was supposed to come. The viewers still didn't know, 
and they wouldn't know until Dream was ready to record with them. Cameras. If he was being honest, Dream wasn't sure if he would ever, if he ever would be. I know I'll have enough money for the travel prices, George spoke with a bit of pride, making Dream think about how cute he was for a moment before he wanted to slap himself. What about the first months of rent? Dream said. No malicious intent, just trying to make sure they checked all the boxes. Fuck, George said, causing Dream to wheeze out a laugh. No, I'm serious, Dream. There's no way I'll be able to get enough to pay for more than half of the first month rent with the travel. The shorter boy sounded suddenly stressed, like a huge burden had been put on his shoulders, which Dream guessed. I'm telling you, George, I can handle it. Dream insisted, only to get cut off by George spitting out ideas to get the money himself. I could get another job, but would I be able to get one on such short notice? Should I sell some stuff? George, seriously, I'm gonna pay for it. No, Dream. George. Dream pinched the bridge of his nose in frustration. You can give me whatever amount you have, and I can pay for the rest. You can pay me back later if it bothers you that much. For a second, George seemed struck dumb or speechless. Promise you'll let me pay you back? George said, quietly, cutely. Yeah, George promised. And Dream meant it. Because there was only one because oh there was no way he could say no george used that tone that's the end of chapter one let's dissect that a little bit all right i what you, what, i thought it was pretty good i thought it was well written it was kind of well written i guess i just don't like how they refer to each other to, the, the author is referring to them as the other boy true these are both men also Hold on, I want to try to... F okay, here it is. There was a weird grammar mistake, or maybe not. It says, he, sapnap, and bad. We're going to clean up the place. But if I'm not if I'm not wrong, correct grammar would be sapnap, George... Oh, no, it's not in first person. I was going to say sapnap, George, and I, but it's not in first person. Also, there was another thing in there. Uh, he was struck dumb. D isn't it dumbstruck? I mean, maybe, but that's more of a colloquialism. Is it though? Well, what do you think? Do you think? How do you think George is going to have to pay him back? The sexual favors, obviously, with the way this is going. I mean, more than certainly. Well, hold on. Let me let me let me read the description for this. Let's let's get into some real talk, quick. How old do you think the person is that wrote this? Oh my god. <laughs> um. Well, the author is. Well, they say call me Blythe. But no. So it's a girl. Is it a girl? I think Blythe is a girl. Doesn't say how old they are. Um, I'd say college age. <laughs> no way, dude. They're definitely teenagers. You think this is like a, like a young teen? I think so. Do you? No, I think they're college age. That would surprise me if they were actually college age. Oh my god, do you want to hear some of the tags for this? Yeah, let's, let's go over the tags. Angst. Anxiety disorder. Oh my god. Bad boy halo. Blood. Boy love. Disease. <laughs> dream not disease? found. Disease? Disease. Dream not found. Dream team. Dream was taken. Flowers. George not found. Dream. Homosexual. LGBT. Love. MC YouTubers. Minecraft. Panic. Panic attack, romance, streamer, transgender, YouTube. They didn't even tag Sapnap. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Wow. So what 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 are we gonna call this series? We're gonna, it's got we should call it like book club. <laughs> book club. Dramatic re dramatic reading. George not uh, dream not found fan fiction. Dramatic. Dramatic readings, dramatic reading book one, episode one. Of 40, there's 40 chapters in this thing. It's gonna be a good series, man. It's totally doable. Yeah, I think so. All right, you wanna outro us? All right, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna hear part two through 40. And you know you wanna hear part two through 40 because it's just gonna be, it's gonna be the bee's knees. Oh, I wanna... We're gonna read 40 whole chapters of this. I wanna, I wanna hear all 40 chapters. I really want to hear all 40 chat. Wait, is it is it ongoing or is it finished? Oh, that's a good question.
it is um uh, I think it's ongoing because the final chapter is called well the final thing is called merch update but right before that it says sneak he has merch apparently all right well thank you guys for tuning in to episode one of dramatic reading uh series one yes and we will see you in the next one bye peace out